Let's see, what else we got here in the bag of questions? All right, how about this one from Lance? Lance wrote into us via Skype. And uh, Lance writes, Hey guys, great reviews. I love your videos. I think you guys are heading in the right direction. And he has two questions. He wants to know, is there any way he get our videos on his video iPod? I guess that would be a question for me to answer. Um, but uh, Yeah, you're the resident techie. <laughs> but then his main question has to do with our rating sheet. Well, he says he went back to read some of our earlier reviews, and he noticed that we used to use a rating sheet. Uh, and he wanted to know what happened with that. And do we have uh, any plans to bring it back, and why did we stop doing it? So, uh, <laughs> well, you can take that part of the question. <laughs> well, um, that originated uh, wow, well before we started the site. I found that rating sheet or one similar to it in uh, the, I think it was the Complete Idiot's Guide to Cigars. Now, it was a book I bought when I first started smoking cigars, and I thought the, the rating sheet was pretty interesting. So I, I pulled it into Excel, made some changes, kind of made it our own, and then uh, we started using that as a, as a barometer for how cigars were performing because it covered, you know, the whole spectrum of the smoking experience, and not just flavors, you know how it was burning, you know, the resting smoke, the ash, the construction, uh, and then it even had a, a place for for uh, for price, so you could keep an eye on that. And uh, we were using it for a while, and then it, it sort of phased out. Uh, I'm not quite sure why, but we eventually moved away from it, and we just haven't looked back. So, you know, I think maybe if we get enough interest and people want to want to see it again, I'm sure we could we could do something to work it back into the the fold. But uh, as of right now, no, we haven't touched that in, in quite a while. Yeah, you know, I think I was the. Re I, I probably started the trend of not using it. I, I started to get too. Uh, I started to get too distracted while I was smoking a cigar, trying to smoke the cigar and and remember to either go back and fill out the the form where I got distracted, smoking, you know, trying to review the cigar while also trying to rate it as well. So I kind of got lazy and just said, you know what, I'm not. Uh, I'll just forego it for a few episodes and then just kind of just didn't look back. Um, I think it's a great, it's a great sheet you came up with, and I, I think maybe sometime in the future we'll we'll start coming back. But it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be kind of hard because we've done. I'm gonna just as a round number here. I'm gonna say at least a hundred reviews before that. You know, since we stopped using it, and uh, it, I don't know. I don't know if we can compare. Yeah, I think it would be tough to just drop it right back into the mix. Right, yeah, so, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I mean, we're not saying we're never going to use it again, but it's not in our, I guess, not in our immediate plans to use. I don't know. All right, Walt, what do we got next? Well, uh, you still got to answer that iPod question. Oh! <laughs> See, look at Walt. Yeah, hardest working member. Keep me on my toes. Wasn't, I wasn't even looking at the sheet when I remembered it. <laughs> uh, wow. All right, so is there a way that he get our videos on his video iPod? Right now, no. <laughs> um, um, we've talked, we've batted back and forth uh, for a while now about making our video reviews available on, uh, on iTunes to download. Uh, and that would be the perfect way for you to uh, for, for you to do it if we ha if we were on the iTunes podcast directory. Um, we do there is a way with uh, Blip TV that we who we use to embed our videos on our site to uh, to get us on listed on iTunes. Um, but we really we've, it's a, been a small idea that we've batted around uh, loosely for a while, but. Uh, you know, if more people want it, you know, we'll we'll meet the demands of the of the people, and uh, we'll get it done. If uh, a lot more people want to do it, that want to watch our reviews in that way. All right. What do we have next? What do we have next, Walt? <laughs> oh, I know what we have next. <laughs> yeah. Look at the question sheet. I I'll go ahead and read this, Walt, because uh, uh, this might be all you. <laughs> all right. This comes from. All right. When I first got this on the contact form, it's kind of funny. I thought the guy's name was Lewis King, you know. <laughs> but then I started. I read the question, and then I dissected the name, and it actually comes from Lou is King. So, but uh, he writes in episode two. Walt touched on a bit of the Rocky Patel versus Lou Rothman feud, and I wanted to know if you think Lou is just jealous of Rocky Patel. Rocky has had the hot land as of hot hand as of late. Or uh, 
uh, he points to a thread on uh, another cigar form called Cigar Utopia, uh, where they talked about it, and he wants to know if the thread on Cigar Utopia that summed the feud up as one bullshitter calling another bullshitter a bullshitter better sums up the feud. And he gives us the link to the feud. So what do you think, Brian? Uh, Jesus, Brian names all the thing. I told you if I saw it, I was going to read it. Brian's out here. Anyways, <laughs> what do you think, Walt? Well, um, I didn't have the link when I read the article. I, I did a search on Cigar Utopia, so I think I found the, the thread he's talking about. And, you know, that, that gives me a, a broader idea of what's going on, because all I was reading was uh, the article in um, Cigar Magazine, and I think there was a couple of people that touched on it at Club Stogie a little bit. And I think that really sums it up. It's, um, I don't think that Lou Rothman, you know, I guess he could be jealous of Rocky Patel, but uh, I guess the way I look at it is, you know, when you when you have two people that are potentially bullshitting, I guess you, you'd uh, look at it as, you know, look at it that way, um, you know, someone's got to start, start the whole thing. And uh, everything I've read, it says, you know, it's coming out as, uh, as Lou starting this feud, and I really haven't read anything from uh, from Rocky Patel. Uh, and, you know, I haven't looked into it all that much. So I don't I don't know if there is any anything published of uh, Rocky Patel fighting back or anything. But you know, I, I think that that whole one bullshitter calling the other bullshitter a bullshitter is is the perfect way to look at it. And uh, I think that the last stand and, and like I said before, kind of a slap in the face was Lou Rothman, uh, you know, rolling out. Just to, to kind of mock Rocky Patel on uh, his vintage series. You know, uh, when you said that last episode, I thought you were just joking. <laughs> <laughs> but sure enough, earlier this week, I was at J.R. Cigars, and bright center in the middle of their window facing the street was a whole stack of Flor de la Bologna cigar bundles. And I just started laughing on the street, because I thought you were just joking, but you're for real. <laughs> Have you tried any of them? No, I haven't, but I did read something that People are saying they, they look in, a lot like uh, the Villazon factory seconds, uh, the Consuergas. Um, people are under the impression that they're actually just a Consuerga with a uh, four-day bologna band. And for the price that, that JR wants for them, I, I probably wouldn't even bother looking into them. I yeah. think he wants over $40 a bundle. Yeah. And that's outrageous if you can get a Consuerga for just over 20 It's actually more than that. I was looking at the Bellicoso-shaped ones, and they were up there like 60 70 bucks. For a bundle, and and you're right on the packaging does say from the uh, from that factory, uh, Villazon Villazon factory, and uh, so I don't know. Uh, it just seems you're right. It does seem like a lot of money, and on the packaging it says uh, runoffs or something like that. Uh, cigars yeah, overruns. Or overruns. There you go. That's the right. There you go. Runoffs. <laughs> overruns, and uh, so I don't know. I mean, do you really want to spend seventy bucks on overruns? I don't know. Was you could, if they're the, if they could be the same overruns that are found in in the Cospega line. Yes, and you know, do you really want to fuel the fire by actually buying them? <laughs> I mean, you won't see me buying them. Gotcha. Well, so that sums it up. Uh, it looks like Cigar Utopia had it had it right. Called when they summed it up as one bullshitter calling another bullshitter a bullshitter. So, all right. They're just one RG rating, but. That's <laughs> Well, if you've seen some of my videos, none of them are G-rated. <laughs> you know, I'm still waiting for you to upload that clip where you put that stinky ashtray on your head. But uh, you know, I have to, I have to incorporate that in a, in another review. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll empty it before I do it. But uh, yeah, it would definitely help. Yeah. All right. Well, what's uh, what do we got next? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit! You know what, Walt? We gotta go back. We gotta back up a little bit here because. What I forgot to do, I meant to do this a couple of questions ago. Was, oh, man, I thought you were going to say you forgot to turn the recorder on. <laughs> no, I remember to turn it on this time. <laughs> Me and Bob have that in common where we kind of forget to uh, turn it on. But, you know, back in that question to Chip about, you know, we talked about, we, we, we both said about Sargarzilla and about how they have a contest going on with their five-pack a month giveaway from TNTCigars.com. Well, we here at the Stogie View have a have a contest as well, and I was lucky enough. Uh, this comes courtesy of our friends at Atlantic Cigars. Is it AtlanticCigars.com? I think it's AtlanticCigars.com. Yeah, I think they're actually an affiliate of TNT Cigars. Oh, really? Oh, 
Yeah, because uh, when I ordered some, I, I ordered a, a bundle of uh, the Padron Anniversary Series uh, alternatives from from TNT Cigars, and it came uh, with uh, Atlantic Cigars name stamped on it. So. Oh well, okay. Well, it comes from TNT Cigars as well, then. Uh, but we're going to have a contest. Let me explain what you got to do. You got to head over to the stogieview.com, our website. Use our spiffy little contact form, and in the contact form, you know, fill out all the contact information. In the body of the contact form, be sure to include your mailing address as well. But what we need is questions from you. So, when you're filling out the form to enter the contest, be sure to include a cigar-related question that we could use and, and answer here on a future episode of Your Questions, My Answers. And the winner, once we get all the entries in, the winner will be announced on episode 101 of the Dog Watch Social Club. We'll record it. We've got an upcoming recording with them, I think. It's episode 101, right, Rob? Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Unless they change numbering on us. It's episode 101. <laughs> but the winner will be announced on that episode of the Dog Watch Social Club. And the winner will receive a box of 31 Tattoo A Series P, P1. That's the Corona Gorda size. And uh, so be sure to head over to our site, use the contact form, and uh, send us a scar related question along with your mailing address, and you'll be entered to win. And uh, listen in to episode 101 of the Dog Watch Social Club, and they'll announce, we'll announce the winner then. All right. Sorry about that, Walt. I told, we were supposed to do that earlier, and I totally forgot. All right. And this is from Kevin through the IOLINS Messenger Service. And I'm going to read it all out here. It's not real long. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> it says, silly question here. You need at least one silly question per show, right? With the success of the show Heroes, what would your superhero power be, and what would your name be, keeping the, na- the, blah, 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 keeping the name cigar related? Keep up the awesome job. So what do you think, Jerry? Uh, what would your superhero name and power be? Well, I think I know who this person is. Because I play a game called City of Heroes, where it's a online uh, multiplayer game where you run around as a superhero or a supervillain. And I think this is the guy. I'm not sure, but this might be the guy who who always talks cigars about cigars with me while I'm playing the game. So I'm not sure, but uh, in the game I play a superhero called the Butane Flame. Uh, that'd be my cigar superhero name. And uh, in the game. Uh, yeah, he does a standard fireball thing, throwing fireballs at everybody. So that would, I guess I would have to uh, use my character in City of Heroes as my actual superhero name and be the resilient butane flame. So, what about you, Walt? Did you come up with anything? Actually, I didn't, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't come up with a fancy name or anything. But uh, for me, I'm constantly forgetting my cutter and my... You know, I'm I'm constantly going out and forgetting my cutters, and it's a it's a huge hassle. So I think if I had any superpowers, it'd be like Mr. Gadget, where I can just kind of flip open my finger, and I'd have a cigar punch in one finger, and you know, flip open the thumb on my other hand, and have a polio cutter there, you know, and maybe add in a pinky flame or something, you know, just to just to make things more convenient, because I'm constantly going out and forgetting things, and I can't stand it. <laughs> That's awesome. Do 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 do. Oh man! All right, so let's talk about something serious here. Um, earlier, we talked about both Walt and I said how much we loved uh, the Camacho El Legendario and the uh, Avo 80th, and we talked about how we would like the flavor of the cigar. It's a great cigar, but we also touched on a bit about how that cigar had sentimental values to us as well, and. For those of you that listen to the Dog Watch Social Club, you know that they're coming up on their 100th episode, um, and we're going to actually record the show uh, before that, so we wanted to send a... Uh, oh, they're going to record the show after this. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So they're going to record the 100th show after this, and but before we do our next episode. So we wanted to use a few, take a few minutes to say a few words to Bob and Dale over at the Dog Watch. Um, you know, back in, I think it was June or July, I think it was June, uh, Bob and Dale had invited us onto the show, and it was the first. It was it was great. We, me, Walt and I were extra. Spe- we felt extra special, and we were extra nervous because it was the first time that anyone had sat through a whole show with them, and and and, and it was that was just a great experience. And that's when we smoked the Camacho El Legendario, 
And uh, that was just such a good time. And ever since then, every time after that, including the Agu 80th, has been just such a wonderful time spending with Bob and Dale. And I just wanted to say um, that the success of the StillYourReview.com couldn't have happened without Bob and Dale and, the dog, and, and their amazing support of our site. Whenever they get an opportunity to, to plug us, they do. And we appreciate that so much. And I know I, I, I feel comfortable... I know I can speak for everyone at the Stogie Review, but I, I feel pretty much comfortable speaking for the cigar community in general and saying that the work you guys are doing to promote cigar smoking is awesome. Uh, you guys are well respected in the cigar community, and uh, uh, there's nothing any of us can do to thank you for everything that you guys have done for the cigar community at large. Um, so, happy 100th episodes, and I hope uh, for at least, let's see, my baby's due in the end of July. So I hope for at least another 18 years' worth of shows to keep me from pulling out my hair uh, while I'm raising this kid. So here's to 100 and many, many... Wait a minute, I don't even have hair, Walt. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. So uh, congratulations on 100 shows. Uh, and thank you for, for supporting us as much as you have. There's nothing that we can do to repay you guys for your generosity. So we are in your debt. Walt, what about you? You got anything to say to Bob and Dale? I think that was absolutely perfect. Um, you know, we, we just, I appreciate what they've done for us so much. And uh, they've become really good friends. You know, Bob, real, real nice guy, great personality. And then you've got Dale, the, a.k.a. the Vitola Virtuoso, as Bob calls him, who is a real friendly guy. Again, real nice. Pleasure to talk to. And, uh, you know, we share a lot of the same taste in cigars, so it's it's really nice to sit down and, and just kind of shoot the shit with uh, with Dale. It's always just a great time being on the show. And uh, we really I can't express how much we appreciate all the help we've gotten from them. Definitely, definitely. You, you remember the first time before we went on the show how nervous we were? We're like, what are, oh, yeah. what are we going to do? Why do they want to talk to us? You know? <laughs> and we were nervous for like two weeks leading up to it, but uh, they made us feel right at home and... Uh, they're just a great bunch. Of, I, I, you can't say enough. There aren't enough good things to say about them. You know, you, you just yeah, definitely. But uh, all right, well, well, I think that's going to do it for us on episode three. Yeah, I think so. That's about. I think that's all we got. That's, we've had a good time once again, and uh, I think we filled up everyone's afternoon with this nice long Q and A segment. <laughs> but uh, it was a lot of fun, like usual, and. Uh, just to wrap things up, you know, like I said last week, we really appreciate everyone watching, all the support we've gotten from the cigar community. Everyone's been really great, and uh, really look forward to more questions and doing this some more in the future. You know, maybe we'll we'll even, you know, who knows? Maybe later on down the line we'll we'll do some more of these and we'll get them out more regularly. But for now, I really look forward to to doing the shows every two weeks. It's been a blast. All right. Well, well. Until next time, buddy. Long ashes, my friend. Dímela, Salomí, buen monsieur. Bonsoir, monsieur.